Hey, what's up you guys? If you're gonna to be towing a trailer with your Subaru Impreza, you're gonna need trailer wiring. It's required by the law. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Now our trailer wiring is going to plug into our vehicle's taillight harnesses on both sides. So to gain access to that, first we're going to remove both of our taillights. So we're gonna start on the driver's side taillight. To remove it, we're going to remove these two covers using a flathead screwdriver. So that exposes two screws underneath those covers. We're gonna remove those using a 10 millimeter socket. With those screws removed, we're just gonna to pull towards the rear of the vehicle. And that will allow us to pop it off. So now we're gonna disconnect our tail light. We're going to remove this harness by pushing down on that tab on the top. And then we'll set our tail light aside. And then we'll repeat on the passenger side tail light. So we're gonna route our trailer wiring through our bumper to both tail lights. So to give us a little bit more room, we're gonna loosen up this underbody panel. We're just gonna remove the three push pins on the bottom right here to give us enough room to put our hand up there. And we'll use a flathead screwdriver to remove those. And then we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now we're ready to bring our wiring into place. We're going to use a fishing technique to bring it up through the bumper. We're gonna take this extra wire and we're gonna push it down through the top of the bumper fascia. And then we'll reach up underneath this underbody panel and we'll go ahead and pull out the end of that wire. Now we're gonna take our T-connector with the yellow, brown, and red wire and our white wire with the ring terminal on the end and we're gonna tape it on the end of this pull wire. And now we're just gonna go ahead and pull it up through our bumper. So we went ahead and removed that tape and pull wire and now we're gonna plug it into our vehicle's driver's side taillight harness. Now we're gonna take our white wire with the ring terminal and we're gonna ground it right behind our taillight. We cleaned off a little spot right here away from any dust and we're gonna use the provided self-tapping screw and quarter inch socket to put that into place. Now we're gonna take our T-connector with the green wire and we're gonna route it over to the passenger side taillight we're gonna keep it over our bumper support to keep it away from the exhaust so it won't get damaged. Now that we've reached the passenger side, we're gonna bring it up to our taillight harness using a pull wire. and then we'll plug it into our passenger side tail light. So there's a lot of extra green wire and we don't want that slack dropping too low and getting close to the exhaust. So we're gonna pull it nice and tight and then we're gonna zip tie it to this harness. With both of our T connectors plugged in, we're ready to reinstall both of our tail lights. Now we're ready to connect and route our power wire to our battery in our engine compartment. We're gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive power wire that has a protective loom on it to help protect it from the elements. But we're gonna connect the end of this to the black wire on our converter box and we'll be using a heat shrink butt connector.
Now when routing our power wire to our engine compartment, we want to avoid anything hot or any moving components on the vehicle. Now our safest route is to bring it down the passenger side. We have all these panels that are covering our brake lines. So we're gonna bring this over our bumper support just like we did on our green T connector to bring our black wire to our passenger side. Now to get to those panels, now that we're on the passenger side, we're gonna go over this cross member. Next, we're just gonna go over this next cross member. Now that we've reached the paneling, we're just gonna place a zip tie right here. Now we're gonna take our wiring, we're gonna bring it over this panel, and we're just gonna to continue to put zip ties around our wire. Okay. Now to get our wire underneath this underbody panel, we're gonna to need to take out two push pins, one right here and one towards the front, and that will allow us to pull it down a little bit to get our wire underneath it. Now that we've reached our engine compartment, we're gonna follow the brake lines up through the engine compartment. It's a little tight to see, but we'll, pull, we'll show you from up top. Now that we're in the engine compartment, we're just gonna grab our wire and pull it up all the way. Now our battery is on our driver's side, so we're gonna need to route this over there. We're gonna follow these lines that go back here to avoid anything hot or moving in our engine compartment. Now that we've reached our battery, we're going to connect our fuse holder to our power wire. With our U-Haul exclusive power wire, we just have to plug it in. Now we're going to connect our fuse holder to our positive terminal on our battery. We're gonna remove that nut using a 12 millimeter socket. And then in our fuse holder, we're gonna connect our 10 amp fuse. And then we'll put our cap on. Now we're gonna clean up our fuse holder and extra wires. We're just gonna push it up behind our fuse box right here. Now to store our four flat, we're going to bring it right next to our hitch receiver. We're just gonna bring it behind our bumper and through our bumper support. And then we'll bring it over our hitch and underneath our bumper right here right next to our hitch receiver. Now we don't wanna leave our four flat harness just dangling right here next to our receiver as it can drag down on the ground and get damaged. So we're gonna be using a four flat mounting bracket. It's just gonna go right here on the bottom of the bumper. Now it's not included with our kit, but you can pick it up at your closest U-Haul center or at uhaul.com. So we're gonna line it up on the bumper where we'd like it to go. And then using a 3 16 drill bit, we're gonna drill our first hole. Then we're gonna take our screw and we're gonna bring it from behind. Then we're gonna take our bracket and we'll secure it using the provided nut. Now we'll make sure it's square and then we'll repeat on the next hole. Now we're gonna tighten up those nuts using a 10 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna put on our dust cover. Then we'll bring our harness into place. And then we'll put our cap on. Now we have a lot of extra wire. We're just gonna bundle it up and then we're gonna zip tie it. And then we're gonna bring it over our underbody panel now with our wiring tucked up underneath it, we're going to reinstall our underbody panels.
All right, guys, with our wiring powered up and secured, you're ready to tow a trailer. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.